What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lasso Craig coming at you with a reaction video, man. King Sid must be stopped, man. Listen, I don't know what the hell going on, but King Sid is being feasted upon, man. Everybody's making videos on this dude, man. All his old friends, all his all his old exes, all that making videos on this dude. They coming out snapping on him, saying how he's fake. He's putting his hands on a woman, and like a lot of people. You know, probably thinking it's a lie, but you got multiple women coming out saying the same thing that he put their hands on him and shit. I don't know what the hell going on, you know what I'm saying? You know, I used to watch dude videos. I thought it was pretty dope, pretty hilarious, but now he's being bashed. He's, you know, they trying to cancel him. His views is dropping, shit going wild, shit going crazy, you feel me? But we got a video by his ex, Diamond Flawless, and she's basically exposing him for putting his hands on her so let's watch this video together and let's see what's up man you feel me let's get it i'm not gonna pause nothing i don't pause nothing i'm gonna react as the video go do not get mad if i'm talking over the video you came to my channel so you get what you receive you understand me appreciate it and shut your mouth no further ado let's get straight to the content that's the last person that he's put his hands on okay hold on that's the last person that he's put his hands on i want to do this i told him i can't do this no more and as soon as I said that, he took both of his hands, put it around my neck. It literally shoved me up against the wall, like choking me again so hard I could not breathe. Damn, why he George Floyd and shit, man? Yo, why he say doing this shit, man? Woo! Hey guys, it's your guys, Josh Wallace. I miss you guys. Bad. I know I get messages all the time that you guys miss me. I miss you too. The feelings are mutual. That and some of you guys are OG day one supporters and have watched me wrong from high school through college to now, to this day where I'm sitting here and a lot of things have happened, a lot of things have changed and you guys have watched me evolve and I love you guys. Watch me evolve. Bro, what's she saying? So, protecting my peace is my number one priority. So initially when everyone has been asking me to come out with my side of the story of what he's done to me, I never felt obligated to for the fact that I've already explained my story four years ago when it did happen. It's happened to more women that he, he's done it to and they came out with their sides of the story. And it's sad, it brings out this to me that there's more victims and he has not changed from four years ago. I wasn't the last person that he's put his hands on. God, As some of you guys may not know, I was a victim of abuse when I was in a relationship with King said four years ago. I came out with my story on how he choked me and put his hands on me and was aggressive with me multiple times. Some people believe my story, some people didn't. He came out with his story covering his tracks and making up other things that would basically make me look like I'm just talking. You better say it was sexual. Hey, hey, what's yeah. sexual? We, we just having sex, Today, you know? We just getting a little kinky. At the choker, we just getting a little kinky, man. That's all. <laughs> it's consensual. It's consensual choke itch. You know what I'm like? I've healed from this trauma, and I don't want to live with this trauma anymore. I don't want to live with this trauma The emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, all of the trauma from it. For the most part, I've healed a lot and uh, made peace with the situation. You know, um, I've forgiven, but I haven't forgotten. Why you snitching and though if you forgive him? You it snitching. just hurts me to know that other women had to deal with the same thing I had to deal but with. But he deserved to be snitched and, on and for putting his hand on a woman though. Women, beautiful creatures, man. They give us pussy. Why would you put I'm your hand so on a woman? They give us pussy. To come out on the other end. Come on, man. Today. Like, I'm so grateful and thank God that I'm here today, literally. <laughs> I just, it's, it's a miracle. It's just, yeah. the only way I, the only way I'm here today is, is God. That's all I can say. And, so and he was beating you that bad? To the point you can't believe you're here? The perpetrator lacks a guilty conscience and doesn't think they've done wrong and in denial. They won't know to seek help, to seek help for it. Therefore, there's going to be other victims that they do it to. So it took four years for this to have happened to many other to multiple other women that he's done it to for it to come to light four years from when i said my story now there's other girls that come out and say their stories and it's now being, being brought to the audience to you guys from what's what has been happening behind closed doors of what he's been doing those posted have witnessed his abuse to others and it's been exposed to the public recently not only physically abuse to women but also emotional abuse and 
mental abuse to your friends and family. Damn. So that means that I strongly encourage you to continue. That money change you. That money, that clout so change you. keep repeating itself. That money and clout change you. Because if you don't seek help, you're only not going to heal, but you're going to keep causing pain to others. And go to jail. And it breaks, it breaks my heart to know that there's more victims that have endured and had to go through the same thing that I had to go through. And my heart goes out to them, and I wish, I wish a healthy recovery for them. Seriously. This should be a learning lesson to everyone to not be dismissive of someone's report of abuse and to listen to the victim's side of the story always. As a victim, it takes a lot to speak up, mainly because a lot of people don't want to hear your truth. But I'm telling you right now, Hold on. and I'm standing here right now. Hold on. Healed, healthy, happy. Hold on. And I've been <clears throat> through it. So if you, if anyone out there is why did he choke her though? Because women be trying to play innocent, but they be doing shit to like trigger a nigga. You feel me? Not saying he's right, but you never know. What if she was attacking him and he had to defend himself? You don't know that. You feel me? You deserve better than that. Okay, ladies, stand up. You never know, bro. Because these women be trying to act like they the victim, bro. They be crazy. And it can really make a difference whether a victim is believed or not, especially on their mental well-being and emotionally well-being it takes a lot to even get through the pain of what the abuse you've gone through so even having this to have this to have the strength to stand up and speak about it it's 10 times harder 10 times harder <laughs> although sometimes people do falsely accuse others of yeah. abuse make sure you guys investigate a situation and listen to a victim listen to both sides so you guys know because most times they're not just speaking up and making bad, bro. detailed stories me. for no reason. Oh my God. Always investigate a situation Look before at the you way guys form like... an opinion. You try to be guys. Oh We're all human, God. and there's a lot of things that some people can take and others can't. And a man that puts his hands on you is most likely a narcissist. They're calm, cool, collective, and they feel no remorse. They know what they do, but they don't feel no remorse, and they, that is why they have to try to feel something, to heal, and to change. Because if they don't, that is what drives the victims to feel, to go through so much physically, emotionally, and to feel crazy. They almost look crazy, they look unstable because the narcissist is just cool, calm, collective, and as if nothing ever has ever happened. So being a victim of it and hearing other girls' stories, I know, like, it's so hard to deal with. It's just, it's, so, it's a hard thing to deal with. Never dismiss it. As being on the victim side, the survivor side, it is so hard to deal with. I'm telling you, when someone is doing something to you and they just have no care or remorse, they might say sorry, they might throw you, they might throw you um, an apology with flowers. They just might give you flowers, because that's what had happened to me. After the situation, the day after he brought me flowers, like nothing ever happened. Huge savings up to 35% off everything at Rayborn Flanagan's Black Friday event or taken. It's not back into something that does not even make It doesn't make sense because they make you feel like it's okay and it's not okay. They think it's okay and they, may, they try to make you seem like it's okay and you're just, you're, you're crazy. But let me tell you, ladies, even men too, both sides, no one should be putting their hands on you. No one should be disrespecting your personal space like that. If someone respects you and loves you, they will not, will not try to harm you in any shape or form. Women shouldn't touch men either. Especially physically. Everybody keep their hands to and themselves. Know, Everybody keep their hands to themselves. We don't have as much strength like, as the men. As a man. We don't. And I also want to say, anyone that has been a victim of domestic violence, that telling your story can save and help so many people. Never feel like, I can't tell my story, or it's just, you, your story might save someone. Yeah. Save someone out of a relationship, save someone out of, save someone's life. So sharing is caring, and telling your story is so brave, and I commend anyone that has been able to do it, as I have. And I also watched Nate Gio's video, where basically Nate was saying that he believes King said Jason, because that was his friend, and he defended him, but... Until he witnessed it himself, then he realized Kingsa was wrong all along and lied about putting his hands on me. So that's just an example of like 
Being biased, At first, I thought this shit was know, fake. I thought these videos was fake, like a little to, like, strip they was doing that. for views and all that. But then once she came out saying that he put his hands on, I was like, okay, this is not a prank. Because nobody gonna go to that extent. This could actually like get him in trouble and cancel him. So why would they play like that? So it's real, bro. Crazy, bro. And do something with it seriously because so many people look up to you. You're a public figure. Yeah. If you just take the accountability and take the time to apologize to all the victims that you emotionally, physically, mentally abused, it can literally inspire nah, so many. Nah, he incriminated himself though. Maybe he can get in see that you know you can change. You can do wrong. Yeah, keep it on the Do wrong and right your wrongs though. You know you can do wrong, but right your wrongs and try to change. Try. So anyways, ladies, remember if a man puts his hand on you, he does not love you. You may be able to forgive them, but do not forget. I've forgiven. I've made my peace and, and kept my distance. I have my boundaries with Jason. But just remember that they do not love you. A man does not love you if he puts his hands on you. And a female don't love you. She cheat on you. She cheated on Sid. She cheated on Sid, bro. Emotionally, spiritually, mentally, he does not love you. Abuse is abuse, but it's emotional, mental, physical abuse too is hard. And I know there's probably a lot of young girls. The hypocrisy is crazy. Never, never settle for less. Because when I tell you that there's men out here that care for you and will never do that to you, and that really truly loves you, trust me, you can do better and you deserve better. Deserve better. We all deserve better as. A female and a woman, we all deserve better. Girls, take time. Take your time. Heal. I remember she was off her rockers. Wasn't she like on crack or something before? She was off her rockers before. Y'all remember? She was bugging the fuck out. Take that away from you. You will speak for yourself. You will keep your you'll keep your boundaries and you'll make sure that they respect your boundaries and you move on and life is there's always another side. There's, it always gets better. Trust me, guys. It always gets better. Life always gets better. And just know that you don't have to stay with someone that does not respect you. grass ain't greener on the you other really side. In a relationship, if they can't respect you, and they if they put their hands on you and aggressive with you, what? Like, there's no reason for you to be there. There's no reason for you to be there. And it's just, it's a toxic situation. You don't want to be a part of that. And trust me, when you finally, like, love yourself more than you love any other man, the man is going to love you the way you love yourself. If you don't love yourself and he keeps repeating, repeating these things to you, it's only going to tear you down. But when you love yourself and you stand for something, you will not fall for anything. And the man is going to take care of you and love you. Because a real man does not put his hands on a woman. Little boys do that. I agree. Men don't do that. What's the number? I'm telling you, and there's men out here. I have a platform at the end of the day for me to be able to come as a victim to speak on it and educate others on, you know, how things, uh, on a learning lesson that sometimes victims are not always believed in that. It's okay for you to speak up, and you should speak up as a victim, you know? And we're all just learning at the end of the day, but, but at the end of the day, just remember, guys, there's always a bright side to the end of the tunnel. There's always lights at the end of the tunnel, and you're worth everything, ladies. And I'm talking to my girls, but remember that you are the prize, okay, period. We are the prize, like, let's remember that. <laughs> let's remember that, okay? Just like you heard me say, you are the prize, we are the prize. We are. Just for you have to remember. Man, that. We the prize too. We the prize. Men the prize. Them, we the prize. Never let men tell you what you're not. We the prize. Never let them talk down to you. Without no. men, there wouldn't be no you. You no. understand? We do everything. No. Men do everything. We create everything that you but enjoy. Never, we do everything. We the prize. Y'all need to get your act together, woman. I have to have some self respect. Just think that. Just remember that, guys. Y'all below us. Remember that. People will be able to walk all over you. Sometimes, you know, I'm, I've always kind of been like a nice, friendly person. So sometimes I, I get caught up in certain things. But you, I still, and I, I'm still learning to the day to respect myself, make sure that I don't have people taking advantage of me and, you know, taking things from me that they don't deserve, you know? Taking things that they don't deserve. What, the goodies? They the might goodies? see their value and they might 
see it, but they, it's not like they'll take care of it and respect your value. Like they'll kind of take advantage that they know of how much how valuable you are as Time a woman sheet. and as a person. They might just be like, "Oh, she's so valuable. She is the prize." They might oh. they might say that they, yeah. they they talk a lot. Uh huh. Trust when they they'll talk a lot and they'll talk they'll talk about the world. They'll try to say they'll give you the world and all this stuff, whatever. But uh, at the end of the day, if they don't treat you and your actions. Uh -huh. Don't align with what their words say. Never take oh, that. Okay. Never take that. Okay, I listen. Because someone <laughs> will show you. They won't just tell you, but they'll show you. A person I love you will show you they love you. They won't just have to say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. actions. At the end, it's actions. I find this hilarious. So a girl talking about love, but she cheated on the man. Um, but that being said, I miss I taking no love goddamn you guys so me. much. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given me, literally. Yeah, like, shut your ass up, man. But listen, man, that's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? King said, man, going out crazy over here choking people, Chris Brown and all that. You know what I'm saying? I guess Chris Brown is his idol, man. Nigga, you know, go crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, man, I don't know, man. This is not looking good for King said career, man. You know what I'm saying? His views flopping. I was wondering about his views flopping. You know, he used to be getting, like... Three, four hundred in a day. Now he getting ninety and ninety k in a day. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going down. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's only a matter of time until nobody gonna want to be in his videos. Like no females or nothing. But you hit women. Like we don't want to be in your videos. Then you gonna have to have guys in his videos only doing smash or pass as well. The men and shit. You know what I'm saying? LGBT and all that. You know type shit. But. Yeah, man, listen, I don't know, man. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comment box. You know what I'm saying? Uh, smash that like, Keezy. Hit the subscribe, keep it greasy, and I'm going to see you on the next VZ. Peace.